So the Carrick is uh, the first ship in production for deep space exploration. One thing we've learned on our bigger ships uh, that we've done before is that everything is being driven by interior. There is no point starting the exterior work until we're 100% happy that the interior works exactly as it should. It doesn't create any problems. All the vis areas are working fine. There is enough room for everything. Nothing needs to be shifted. Uh, because before, on the first ships we've made, we kind of tried to build both at the same time. And that started causing conflicts. And you had to go back and redo quite a lot of things, uh, which we kind of stopped doing fairly recently. And starting on Reclaimer and now Karak and a few other um, ships that we are building on right now. Exterior always started a little bit after everything else. Think of honeycombs, how, how honeycombs stack with each other. We're trying to um, develop all the floors and the rooms to feel like they're and they're stacking with each other into this honeycomb design. We're trying to stick to like no 90 degree corners. It's all 30 and 60 degrees. All the floors are raised up and all the pipe work and machinery is all underneath. The lighting we're going to go for is very blue overall feel with a red accent colour in um, certain places and it's very heavy military inspired. Right now I'm kind of know that the ship got a little bit bigger than what it was originally planned and as usual this is caused by uh, the difference between the initial blockout and the how much room we actually need as artists. Like put some nice layering on the walls, like whenever you have pipes, whenever you have stuff cutting into it, even if player cannot, cannot get there, you can see this stuff. And the deeper it gets, the more layers you get, the more interesting it has, especially in a style like Anvil's kind of interior, uh, which hasn't really been shown before to the public yet. No one actually seen the Anvil capital ships. This is going to be the first one. This is going to be the... Big one. So the the, the visual style is, is very very, um, it's very layered. It's very kind of utilitarian. It's very militaristic. It's much more militaristic, I would say, than than what Aegis does. So just because when the ship was planned out, every kind of room they, we had like well, let's say twenty five centimeters for every wall, and then another room started. We need about two meters between those rooms because we need at least, at least a meter to start putting things in. That difference, that pushes things a little bit. Luckily, it's usually uniform. So the ship, even if the ship gets bigger, it doesn't really get bigger only in one direction. It basically just scales up by I don't know, 20% or, or, or depending on the ship really and on the style. So, so the exterior visually isn't going to change much. Uh, the way we build the interior seems to... Uh, be fairly consistent with what we wanted to do with the ship originally. It follows the, the original guidelines quite close. And then the exterior, except it's going to be a little bit bigger. We're just moving on to detailing up certain areas. We've got three main core um, archetypes. We've got engineering, me um, medical and habitational and technical. And we're picking three different areas from those and we're doing pure max concept work for what these areas could look like. So the, the length of the ship has got bigger. Um, for example, for that would be the drone room. We're using the reclaimer as the basis for how big this drone room can be. And the first initial designer block out for that was literally almost like a cupboard in size. So we've just had to um, increase that um, on the length of the ship. And basically, it's pretty much like that on every single room, and it's just got slightly larger and larger and larger. But it's not—it's not crazy large. I think it's got—I um, think it's got about 30 meters longer than it was before. The ship contains its own little scout ship for when it—I um, think it discovers a planet. It can use its scout ship to obviously ex check out the planet or debris or space wreck, whatever it is that they find. Um, it also has a hangar for. A, um, a anvil style esque rover, which is um, has got to be created yet, but and it's also got three modular pods on the back, which can be customized by the player. At the moment, we are currently just doing the cargo units for those modular pods, and design will tell us what the other specs are for the other pods that can be switched out. It's pretty much a, a Prometheus from from the movie. Uh, of, of our universe. This is the, the explorer's ship. This is the ship that you can basically just get a crew of other five people and just go on an adventure of exploring planets. And you can spend 
on this ship months or years. It's just you just go and it's self-sustaining. It's it's really really mobile. You can modify it or like you can customize it to some extent depending do you want to do like a, a deep space exploration or planned exploration or do you just want to uh, hold some cargo for into a very very long distance there is there, there will be a possibility to to play around with that it's it's also fairly well armed so it can defend itself if it's gonna get attacked it's quite good at it it has possibility of of on foot exploration so so it has a, a a rover because it is the exploration ship of the universe the whole interior is gonna feel very very open the canopy uh, that you can basically hang on top of the the visual like a lot of windows a lot of nice uh, visual like open rooms especially on the top deck uh, even possibility to walk uh, easily on top of the ship, like the, the top airlock is going to be connected connected to a set ba of balconies that kind of be, will be going around um, the hangar for for the, the smaller ship. Uh, you can kind of go just walk there, and um, instead of forcing yourself, there will be just room for players to walk around it, which is going to be really really nice. So the entire ship is done, white box, and um, the only part that hasn't been done yet is the bridge because that's going to be needed to be done in conjunction with the exterior because it's heavily tied in with that. So when that gets kicked off, the um, the bridge will be done to white box standards. Other than that, um, it's pretty much ready for us to go on to um, final art in all the areas and take rooms to final. Everyone's excited about this ship. This is like, this is the best ship. Um, like this is probably the most anticipated ship at least on the on the reddit community it seems to be everyone's loving it i love it i, I think it's it's a really really nice concept i think it's a really really nice design and I, it's, it's i'm really really into just building it and making it and i have quite a few ideas of of how to make some of the yet unresolved stuff and the concept work obviously with support of of, of other artists and uh, yeah everyone everyone just loves this ship and uh, this is this is going to be something uh, something else.